My name is Gautam. Uh, I passed my class 12 around one and a half years ago. And uh, this is my second attempt. This was my second attempt at the CMI exam. I tried once last year. I didn't get through, so I decided that I, I decided to take a gap year and uh, try again this year. I tried for the ISIB math uh, program also. Oh. I will go for CMI. Uh, one, one reason is that it's actually very close to where I live. It's around 15 minutes away. And that's, yeah, that's pretty convenient. So one, one book which I really liked, which helped me a lot, was uh, Principles and Techniques in Combinatorics. Um, and uh, I, so uh, right before the last CMI entrance, I was feeling a little weak at Combinatorics. And I read through the first one and a half chapters of that book and did all of the example problems. And after that, I felt a lot more confident. I think that book helped me, helped me out a lot. Um, other, uh, for number theory, I, I like David Burton's uh, elementary number theory. And uh, for the basic level of analysis, real analysis that uh, is needed for ISI and CMI, I liked uh, Stephen Abbott's and Bartle and Sherbert's books. So those were some books which uh, helped me a lot. I think there were two major differences this time, I think. Um, one is that I had improved in math itself and in problem solving uh, quite a lot over the nine months since the, my first attempt and my second attempt. That was one uh, major change, I think. That, uh, yeah. And the second thing is, I had also spent uh, these nine months, I was trying to also work on my exam writing, time management, and doing all of this under pressure and like keeping anxiety under control, like during the exam. I was trying to work on that also these nine months. And I think, I think I made quite a bit of progress there also. And so during both ISI and CMI, I think uh, I was able to stay relatively calm during the exams. And I think that was a big difference because last year I became quite anxious during the test since I was making some silly mistakes in some questions and it took a very long time to do some questions and that made me anxious. And uh, yeah, so this year I think I was, relatively calm during the tests. Two things here. One is that I, I wrote a lot of mock tests before the exam uh, under time pressure. So not just tests to look at problems, but also to practice time management and uh, working under that time pressure and the pressure of wanting to do well in the exam. And uh, that, I think, uh, helped me a lot to get a sense of exactly how, how much time is there in these three hours and how the test progresses and like how, like how this three hours will go in the exam hall. And that helped a lot because uh, having done so much practice under pressure, that was quite helpful to remain calm even in, during the actual exam. That is one thing. And the second thing is I did some meditation in a few months before the exam. And that, I think, helped me become more aware of myself and my thought patterns. And I think that also contributed to me being able to keep relatively calm during the exam. I didn't really have a very strict routine on most days. One thing that I did was I, I was noticing that the morning time was the time that is between 9 and 12. That was the time where I was the most... Uh, I guess productive. That was the time where I was the most productive. And so I made sure to dedicate that time to math as far as possible, because that was the time where I felt like I was, I would be able to get, like get the most done. And, but other than that, I didn't really have a routine and uh, yeah, it was more of just, uh, I, I learned and did problems as per my interest and uh, yeah. For me, I think, the main two topics that I were that I was that I was weak at, I was feeling weak at, were uh, the more analytical part of calculus and uh, Euclidean geometry. Um, and I mean to work on these, I think. Uh, so there were multiple modules of these which I attended at Chinta, which helped for sure because uh, that was like. A, all of the theory that was necessary was covered there. Um, and uh, after that, I, I think I, 
I made sure to spend some time to make sure that uh, I was able to do problems. I was able to solve problems from these areas also, because uh, these were two points where I was feeling that I was weak at. And uh, yeah, I, I think I'm not sure if there were any very major challenges academically which I which I had to face in the sense that I feel like all of them were of this form of uh, I was weak at a particular topic and so I had to figure out some way to improve that. And, but really the big thing that I think I would say that uh, I made a step towards conquering is the anxiety and uh, testing and like maintaining uh, um, in the exam. This is something I could have done a lot better that but because I didn't do nearly enough extracurriculars I feel I think I didn't do enough and that is something I could have changed. But I have been learning to play the Murdangam for almost 11 years now. So that is something that I'm still keeping in touch with. Um, and uh, yeah, I also enjoy reading, uh, especially uh, of the fantasy genre. And these two things I think I could have done more of. And I also could have exercised more. I think uh, that would have helped a lot. I've uh, read a lot about how exercising is, it helps keep, uh, it helps, it does do a part in keeping the mind sharp and calm. And that is something that I could have done more and that I would recommend that uh, more uh, that people who are preparing for these kinds of exams try to work into their routine. The thing I really liked was we had a ISICMI problem marathon classes every weekday. And I think those were very helpful for me because they were, there was a class for an hour every day. We had a lot of time to discuss lots of very nice and challenging problems. And um, this was like a daily thing, right? So there was some source of beautiful and challenging problems every day, which was uh, which I very much enjoyed and I think helped a lot because we were able to do many, many problems. And in all of my classes, I think the teachers always made it a point to not just uh, teach concepts and problems, but also explain intuitions and motivations behind the topics and their solutions. I think that's very helpful uh, that they did that because that's that's the kind of thing that one has to do on their own when like when writing an exam. And so having that also be explained and taught in a sense to us was very helpful. Yeah. There were actually, I think, uh, two things which I did want to say for things that the students should do. Um, one is that this was something that I kind of realized for myself quite late in my preparation and that it's it's okay to prefer certain books and dislike certain books. Now, why I want to say that is I think there was a time where I was kind of stuck because I was trying to read a book which I did not very much like. That is a mathematical book, which I personally did not like. I, it was a very good book, I think, but somehow it didn't click for me. Um, and I think it's okay to try and find other books which do click for the student and use those to learn the concept. Because of course, not liking a book is not an excuse to, to ignore or like neglect a concept. One, everybody has to learn these things. But I would advise students to try and find books which work for them, because I think it will make the process a lot more enjoyable and easier. That's one thing. The second thing that I wanted to say is that uh, I think uh, students who are preparing should try to spend some time and uh, try to figure out what their weaknesses and strengths are. And not just academically. I, I've said this multiple times already, but for me, anxiety and uh, like uh, performing on test day was also something that I really had to work on because that's an equally important part, right? Because if Because what happens on that day is also very important. So I think uh, all of everybody who's trying to prepare for such an exam should try to figure out what they need to do to improve, um, which may be in math, which may be outside of math also, and, and try, to, try to improve on that. I think the main point is that there may be aspects in which students need to improve outside of math also. And those should also be like, uh, time should be spent there also. I'll be going to CMI and I have not 
yet fully decided between computer science or physics for the second degree at CMI. Uh, I have not decided yet. And I want to learn as much math as I can. And uh, yeah, I, I just really want to learn as much math as I can. And uh, yeah, over the next few years. One thing which I wanted to say here also, which was actually said last year in the uh, in the session that Chinta held, where the people who cleared uh, ICICMI last year spoke, I think Aritra sir mentioned this, that we're all um, we're going to ISI and CMI to study math, and we're not studying math just to get into ISI and CMI. This was uh, Aritra sir said this last year, and I think this is this is. How I approach it, I think this is how uh, this is what we are doing it for. Right, we're going to these colleges to learn math, and we're not just studying math to get into these colleges. And I think that I wanted to mention that because it, yes, I learned I learned a lot from his classes, and he was my one-on-one -on -one mentor also. And I learned so much from those classes. I I'm really thankful for all of the time that he spent with me and our batch. I think it helped me. It helped me so much. It really made a big difference. That's one thing. I think uh, also uh, Sri Charan sir and Sri Jit sir were also. I enjoyed the, I enjoyed their class. I mean, I enjoyed all of my classes, but their classes also I really liked. I really liked Sri Jit sir's enthusiasm. It was very nice. Yeah. His classes were very very nice. I really enjoyed them. And uh, Sri Charan sir's method of teaching and explanation were very nice. I really enjoyed his classes also.